understanding points, lines, and planes. Our objectives are to identify, name, and draw points, lines, segments, rays, and planes, as well as apply basic facts about points, lines, and planes. Who uses this? Architects use representations of points, lines, and planes to create models of buildings. Let's look at some vocabulary. Undefined terms. A point names a location and has no size. It is represented by a dot. Notice here, we've got a dot and it's a capital letter. So a point is labeled with a capital letter. A line is a straight path that has no thickness and extends forever. You can label it with two points. Notice those points are uppercase letters. Or you can use a script lowercase letter. In this case, they used a script L. A plane is a flat surface that has no thickness and extends forever. You can use a capital script letter, as seen here, or you can label it with three points. The points, however, cannot make a line. So A, B, and C could not be all in a row for this to work. Let's look at some more vocabulary. A segment, sometimes called a line segment, is the part of a line consisting of two points and all points between them. So you would label it with two endpoints, and once again, those are capital letters. And you can go either way, segment AB or BA. Notice there's no arrows over the top, it's just a singular segment. An endpoint is a point at one end of a segment, or it's the starting point of a ray. So C and D are endpoints in this diagram. In the diagram below, it's the starting point of a ray, and R happens to be the endpoints. But a ray is a part of a line that starts at an endpoint and extends forever in one direction. So starts at R and extends forever in one direction. Opposite rays are two rays that have a common endpoint and form a line. So notice here, they have a common endpoint E, but they go in opposite directions. If they go in opposite directions, they'll make a line. A few more vocabulary terms. Collinear. Points that lie on the same line. So like K, L, and M are collinear points. Non-collinear are points that do not lie on the same line, like K, N, L, or M, N, K. Coplanar are points that lie on the same plane. So K, N, L, are coplanar. However, non-coplanar means that they do not lie on the same plane. So that would be like J, K, N, because J is not on the plane. Let's try drawing segments and rays. Draw and label each of the following. A segment with endpoints U and V. So a segment has a beginning and an end, so it has a beginning and an end, and is a straight path. So you should probably use a ruler if you have one available to you, or a straight edge works well as well. So, and we label them U and V. Opposite rays with a common endpoint Q. Now, opposite rays form a line, but they have a common endpoint in the middle. So we have ourselves a common endpoint in the middle, and then they extend in opposite directions.
Hold on, let me try that one again. There we go. So opposite rays with a common endpoint Q. A postulate or axiom is a statement that is accepted as true without any proof. Later we'll learn about theorems and we'll have to prove those. The first postulate is through any two points there is exactly one line. So through any two points you can only draw one line through them. You can't draw anything else. Through any three non-collinear points there is exactly one plane containing them. So if you have three points and they don't make a line, then they make a plane. If two points lie on a plane, then the line that can, you can connect those two with will also be on the plane. And the next two are, if two lines intersect, they intersect at exactly one point. So if two lines intersect, then they intersect at exactly one point. If two planes intersect, then they intersect in exactly one line. I'm not going to draw the diagram here because our next piece actually shows us this. Sketch a figure that shows each of the following. A line intersects a plane but does not lie on the plane. And the second one is two planes intersect in one line. Take a moment and try to figure these out on your own and then we'll reveal the answer to see how close you were. Now that you've had a moment to try and figure them out on your own, let's see how close you were. So, one line intersects the plane at a point. So think of it like taking your pencil and stabbing it through your paper. How about two planes intersect at a line? This one might be kind of difficult to draw. Think of it like two pieces of paper that one is passing through the other. And where they meet will actually be a line. Because keep in mind, planes extend forever in all directions there. Well, that concludes our lesson on understanding points, lines, and planes.